This is Rick Karg, Residential Energy Dynamics. In this short video, I'm going to point out the differences between the red tool for 622-2013 and 622-2016. There really aren't very many changes to discuss, but I want to make sure those of you that know the 2013 version well can watch this video and very quickly find out what the changes are. The biggest change to the ASHRAE 62.2 2016 standard is the inclusion of multifamily buildings of any height. The 2013 version of the standard included multifamily buildings of three stories and fewer. That change has brought a number of changes to the standard, some terminology changes and some other things, the changes to the red tool are not as significant. One thing that is part of the standard now is that there is a partial infiltration credit for horizontally attached dwelling units in multifamily buildings. This drop-down has to do with that. The dwelling unit is detached, which is single family, or attached to other dwelling units. If I click that, Notice another drop-down opens up. Only walls are in common with other dwelling units. This has to do with horizontally attached. If dwelling units are stacked, as they are in many multifamily buildings, there is no infiltration credit allowed. This horizontally attached partial infiltration credit is available for duplexes, triplexes, and row houses. Okay, a few more changes. The 622-2016 standard defines floor area a bit more clearly, especially for those of you that are wondering whether to include a basement or not. So you can check that out with the pop-up help for floor area. Because of the expansion to multifamily buildings in the standard, some of the terminology of the standard has changed. Dwelling unit in the 2013 version of the standard was termed whole building. So we changed the tool to reflect that. Finally, the last section of the red tool was added. Actually, it was added to the 2013 tool a while ago to reflect changes to the 2016 standard dwelling unit leakage rate solver. It will give you the corresponding measured leakage rate based on the characteristics of your building for any target mechanical ventilation rate that you add. For more information about these details and many more details, please take a look at the other video tutorials regarding the 62.2 2016 RED tool.